one of the requests I've been getting the most recently is people wanting to see more real-world usage samples, um, for example, of actually writing um, some real-world code and switching applications, just basic usage, how you would use it throughout the day. Um, so for this first video here, I'll just show you um, I have some code here, and I'll basically just rewrite this um, using my voice so you can see how it would be done. Let's check it out. Class scoosh crift commands dot crift base shock shin constructor colgap prex loco namespace swipe loco input Derek lambo shock loco info equeft crift commands dot mapping brax loco namespace shakun loco kind equeft loco info dot kind shakun loco repeatable equeft loco info dot repeatable dupe duke actions creek um, so there you could see um, I typed um, all of this stuff by voice and then I duplicated um, this line and then I just changed two words since it was basically the same um, so you can see how easy that was how all the commands can be chained together uh, basically in any order um, so if you're doing something like typing this line here I'll do it again so you can see this time I'll break it up into individual commands so you can see what each one does loco shin info equeft crift commands dot mapping brax loco namespace next let's check out an example of writing an email um, I'll jump right into it here fox mail tree mail voice code tarp 2 Ascension. this is a long subject line Shackle, Tridal, Deminus, that looks better, Tarp 2. Um, so there, real quick, I just inserted my email um, and then a subject, and then I did some text formatting on it. Um, and now I already have some body text here, so you can see what I'm going to type before I type it which I think helps you see or pay attention to the commands more closely. So let's check this out. Oh, and I included some um, kind of real-world stuff. It isn't just simple typing. It's how it would be if you're actually maybe discussing a project or something. So let's check this out. Shin, another idea is to change the decoif plus Scoosh create project Derek to decoif Angler cool icon Chris Scoosh get started Derek on the shopping page Swipe that way the icon is always a tag Swipe but I kind of like the Scoosh plus Swipe thoughts questo All right, so now back to some code. Um, this one is a bit more complicated because it has more nesting and symbols in it. So let's check out. Actually, I'll put a semicolon there first. Let's check out how to write this code. 
shin previous equeft crift previous commands dot find prex kirk chris swipe kirk shin sort col gap kirk cram created at col gap minus one chris swipe limit col gap one one Ricky dot fetch pre Chris Brax zero Ricky sinker. Um, so there was an example of some fairly nested um, complex stuff like you would find in real code. Um, and it turns out to be pretty simple. Um, a lot of the voice code commands like um, for inserting parentheses and stuff, leave you in the middle after they type it, which makes it really easy to do nested stuff. For example, if I want to type um, this, something like that, um, using regular dictation would be super annoying, but you can just say prex, prex, kirk, coif, and you would get exactly that. 